Beautiful King of Kings, beautiful Lord of Lords. Beautiful Father, beautiful Holy Spirit, we bring ourselves before you tonight. We bring all of our lives before you tonight. Pray that you would unlock the well of praise in every heart tonight. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would lead us tonight into worship, that you would lead us into worship, that you would lead us into freedom tonight, that you would lead us into abandonment, that you would lead us into wholehearted, whole-bodied, every part of us, worshiping like we were made to worship tonight. Lead us into worship, Holy Spirit, tonight. Lead us through the gates of thanksgiving and praise. Lead us before your very throne of thrones. Lord of lords, Lord of hosts,
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can we just lift up a shout one more time? I felt earlier from the Lord that we we're supposed to just open things up tonight and just begin to cry out to the Lord for the things that we want to see, for the way that we want to see heaven invade the earth, for the breakthrough that we're crying out for in our own lives. There's a difference between hungering and asking. Many hunger, very few ask. And I feel like tonight we're supposed to raise our voices as one voice, not any one particular voice, but as a room. And every voice matters in this place. Every voice matters. The bleachers, praise the Lord for those bleachers. The Lord sees you. We see you. Yeah, that's right. But let's just begin to lift our voices tonight and ask the Lord for the things that we want to see break out in our midst. Can we just do that for a little bit? All right, then let's do that for a little bit. Lift your voice to the Lord. Lord, we are crying out for an invasion tonight. We're crying out for a movement of your spirit, God. Not just one more meeting, Lord. Not just singing songs, God. Not just, we just need more, God. I pray that you would at least more to us tonight. More of your presence, more of your power, more of your activity. Brand our hearts tonight, God, we're asking. Brand our hearts tonight. Let there be no going back from this moment forward. Lead us on into the future, God. Lead us into the more of God. We say, let your kingdom come tonight. We say, let your will be done tonight. Right here in this city, right here with this people, God. We lay it all out before you tonight. temple of worship. You are fitting the living stones together and you are restoring your temple of worship. Oh. And all of us who are gathered together, we just say yes and amen. Yes and amen. Yes and amen.
we've seen we've seen your faithful hand your mercy with our hands and the king who blends our and the god who sacrifice being thrown and thrown upon the praises of a thousand generations you are worthy great lord of all and unto you the slain and risen king we lift our voice with heaven singing worthy to the lord of all and all through this life
Unlock the well of praise tonight. Let it rise. Let's press in. Let's let it rise. Let's minister to Jesus tonight. Oh, we love you, Lord. We bless your name. Oh, we give you the highest praise we can give. The loudest praise. The highest praise. Oh, hey. death had claimed its victory the king of love had given up his life the darkest day in history there on a cross they made for sinners for every curse is blood When final breath and it was finished But not the end we could have known For the earth began to shake And the veil was torn The sacrifice was made As the heavens rose
life is perfect Your guidance is true So I trust in You alone I put my hope in I trust in you mm, yeah. Yes I trust in You alone I put my hope in I trust in you Over every area of your life we say I trust Thank you for what you're doing in the body. And once again, we just commit to you our lives. We commit to you our hearts. We say yes and amen to what you're doing in our lives. Once again, God, use us. Use us, Jesus. Once again, we surrender. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Hunter. Hunter. Jeremy, thank you. Thank you, worship team. Cassie. Let's go ahead and grab your seat, if you would. But while, I'd like you to go back quietly, if you can, because I want to ask Hunter to tell us, how did you meet the Lord? I heard stories a few minutes ago <laughs> about how you met the Lord. I, I met uh, a man. I'm from Minnesota. Ooh, ooh. Just walk back quietly because I want to redeem the time, but I want you to hear this. And uh, I, uh, this was in 2008. I met this guy in Minnesota who was uh, running after Jesus. And um, he, essentially, he was praying in tongues at this event. I was not saved, set free, or anything. And it, this thing in my heart clicked, and I knew whatever he was carrying, I had to have it too. And essentially, um, 
he brought me to IHOP. And the One Thing Conference. Yes, and... Uh, in 2008? 2009, yeah. 2009, yeah. as an unbeliever? Uh, uh, yes. Brand yeah. new, and Brand you came here in 2009. Yes. And what happened? I just think this is neat that a <laughs> young man that got saved at this conference 10 years ago is now back leading worship Woo! at it. Just give another minute. This is kind of cool. Someone told me this backstage. I said, are you sure that's right? <laughs> Yeah, that's great. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pray for yeah, you. Lord, I ask you, just as a, one of the fruits of the years of labor of this conference, I ask you for a prophetic spirit to be released upon him in an increased way. I ask for an increase of the revelation of the beauty of Jesus, the anointing to walk in the first commandment and to impart it to others. I ask you for the spirit of grace and power in him and through him through his music, to woo people to the beauty of the man Christ Jesus. In his name we pray, amen and amen. Thank you, good. And Jeremy, I was with you I was at Bethel with Bill Johnson. You've been there for years. You know, Bill Johnson's one of my dear friends. And at the Bethel teams that come and go through here, we love Bethel. And I really love Bill Johnson. And even Chris Valentin, oh, I really Chris like him too. <laughs> okay. And you can tell Chris I said, and even Chris, and he'll give me a little email for that one. <laughs> okay, come on up here real quick. Come hither. We're going to uh, just take a couple moments here. We're going to receive an offering for our, our night watch, our I Hop You Night Watch. We mentioned last night. And you're the one that came up with the spontaneous offering. I loved it, because this wasn't on the plan, actually. We had another plan to how to raise this money out the, over the, uh, in the spring, but I like this, actually. Last night, many of you were here, and we had the uh, night watch th uh, that had uh, been over the years, maybe 200 of them or some number. I mean, young people who have given themselves to the night, and Stuart is the leader of the night watch, and Dave is the leader of uh, the part of our, of our ministry school that's gonna be connected with this IHOP U Night Watch. And we had this idea, Daniel Lim came up with it, of let's strengthen the Night Watch, not just in Kansas City, but in the earth, by giving 100 scholarships starting in August for like nearly one year, room and board scholarships, and, and uh, uh, strengthen the Night Watch and get young people to taste and see if the Lord would have them in this kind of reality. And when Daniel shared this with us some months ago, our leadership team just resonated with this. And we said, this is really, really right. And we want to announce it at the One Thing Conference, the idea that we're going to have 100 uh, scholarships. And tell us just a minute or two about this. And Alan, you just think you've got the vision of the importance of this across the nations of the night watch what's happening in this time of history just a couple minutes each and we'll take the offering ushers go ahead and get ready and then david you make a comment or two and then we'll be done with this yeah the uh, we talk about the night watch in three ways we talk about the night watch biblically we talk about it globally but i want to take a minute and talk about it here in kansas city the night watch here that the United States of America has a night watch. That's like a weapon in the hands of the Lord related to the release of glory and the release of shaking and the release of his purposes. The, the night watch in any nation is a weapon in the hands of God related to mercy, related to the expression of his heart and what he's releasing. And so as we're talking about the night watch around the earth, I want to highlight the importance of this night watch. It's not just a good idea. It's not just the product of good leadership. It's a sovereign work of a holy God to set watchmen in a nation who will contend at 2, 3, 4 a.m. That we've had 20 years of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of 20-year-olds. It's not about them being radical. It's about God being set on a purpose related to his jealousy for a nation. That a night watch exists is because God wills it. 
that the Night Watch in Kansas City exists is because it was born as a fire in God's heart to set young people in the night to burn before his beauty. The reason that I'm saying that is because the, the vision and the dream of our heart, I believe it was born in God's first, that he wants to release the finance, that he would release the friends to be set into the night before him, not just as a prophetic statement to the nations, but as a gift to this nation, as a gift to this people for such a time as this. It's this night watch in Kansas City for such a time as this. And what's, what's beautiful about the story is that there are partners and friends around the nation that heard the call ready to this night watch and they agreed. And very quickly, significant funding came in related to seeing a hundred young people burn in the night for Jesus as they go deep in his word. And so this is an exciting time. Yeah, it will cost about $800,000 to finance the housing, the food, the tuition, because we pay the teachers a little bit, very minimal, about $800,000 for a year of this, nearly a year. And we're about, I think we have four to 500,000 yes. the Lord's already provided. We're about 300,000 out or something like that. I don't 280,000. Really, okay, call it just a round number 300, because <laughs> it always will end up different than we think. That's true. So Stuart, you've been the leader of the Night Watch for 20 years. Yes. Yes. Is that working? Uh, uh, yes, that's working. And yes, 20 years. Yes. Okay. Check, check, one, two. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> and like tonight, you go from here and you do the yes. night watch. Yeah, tonight, yeah. I mean, the night watch teams, again, they leave here and they go all night long while we're sleeping. Give us two minutes on what you're thinking about the night watch. Here with the 20 year mark, what would a hundred young fire in the night? Or, or we call it night watch, I'll just say night watch for a year. What happens to the typical one year person, young person, the night watch, what happens to their life after this? You know, uh, there, there are several verses that I think of when I think about the night watch, but one of them is in Psalm 110 verse three, where it talks, where, where it says that your people will be volunteers in the day of your power in the womb of the morning. When I think about the Night Watch, I think of a womb, and I imagine 100, 200 young people coming into the Night Watch, and what happens in a womb, in a womb is where you get formed, it's where you get shaped, it's where you discover your identity. There's DNA that gets put, with, uh, that gets put within your spirit. There was one man who wrestled with God throughout the night. His name was Jacob. He wrestled with an angel through the night. And he was a picture of the generation that David talks about in Psalm 24. This is the generation, Jacob, the generation that will seek your face. The Lord is stirring up young people all across the earth to come in the night watch and to wrestle with God like Jacob did, to wrestle with him in his word, to wrestle with him in prayer, to wrestle with him and turns in the inner life and they get formed and forged into the calling and the purpose that God has for, for, for them and they get launched like an arrow into the nations as prophetic voices. I call them voices in the night. Yeah, we're asking the Lord to raise up night watches all over the earth. They're already in maybe a hundred cities. I'm just pulling that number out of the head. I don't really know, but it's, I think it's over a hundred cities. There are night watches or more, maybe a couple hundred cities. But I want to see them in 5,000 cities in the earth where not just young people, because there's some older ones too that are part of our night watch. More and more we're getting More and more older yes. ones are jumping in, but it's predominantly young ones and they're playing music and worshiping the Lord and interceding in the night. But what if 5,000 cities had a company of young people in the night that were crying out to the Lord? And we believe what's happening here in Kansas City in the night. And Stuart, I just give you honor for this. I know it's the Lord, but you and the team, hundreds of other groups are being inspired by your faithfulness and the vision and the wisdom because you guys are saying unapologetically this is the wisdom of god for us to spend our years in that alan a, a couple statements that's on your heart well the first one is that for less than a million dollars you can cover your nation for half the day covered now, by the presence now what do you of the mean? Lord. Oh, the 800,000, a million dollars. Okay, actually, it. for less than a million dollars, that would be like a CEO going across the ocean first class about 10 to 15 times in one year. For less 
than a million dollars, you can cover the entire night to be soaked and bathed in prayer and worship. I, I'm stuck on that point. Right now, God's moving on people that can fund night watches all over the earth in every nation of the earth. And then the second thing is, I had this real sense that if the veil thinned right now between heaven and earth, and we were caught up and taken to the throne room, we would see the four living creatures they never rest, day or night, saying holy, holy, holy. And as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth that the Spirit of the Lord is brooding across the nations of the earth and exposing us to the beauty of Jesus in such a way we cannot stop singing. We cannot let the living creatures have our pleasure. And God is marking people all over right now, even over Webstream, even in this room. That's what we spoke of last night. Funding and marking that God would bring forth through provision and his anointing to carry it out, the night watch in the nations of the earth and even right here. And you know, this is bigger than us, meaning we really care about our night watch. But many of you go back home call forth and encourage people and fund the night watch in your city i don't mean for a year but in the years to come just put it in your your dna that hey in my city i'm not content if there's not prayer going on through the night in an intentional strategic systematic way so it's more than the kansas city one we want to be catalytic for other cities but if a bunch of us, if 100,000, 200,000, we have some hundreds of thousands with us on the internet and more on TV right now. If several hundred thousand had the vision they were gonna support the Night Watch in their city for the right. next 10 or 20 years, it would shift what's happening on the body of Christ globally. David, make a few comments, and Dean, come on up and give us the details on how, how we give. I kinda always mess I, that uh, up. I love what Alan shared about us being caught into the throne room watching what's happening. Because they do it night and day up there. That's right. But I want to tell you some good news, that the angels are jealous of what's happening here. And I believe that the Lord is opening heavens and saying, my family on earth is in line with what's happening in heaven. Let us go down and worship with them and let us watch them worship and pray day and night. I believe the family in heaven and the family in earth are going to be connected together because he doesn't only have a family here, he has a family there and they're ready to be with us. Actually, David, I will call you and raise you one. In Revelation 5, 8 to 10, the living creatures stop. In Revelation 4, 8, they never rest day or night, but in Revelation 5, 8 and 10, they stop for the first time in thousands of years. Why? Because we're doing it here. The prayers on the earth are going night We're day. doing Amen. it here. I, I had a vision of Jacob and the ladder. Do you remember the ladder? Angels ascending and descending. Do you remember the vision? I want to give you good news that the stairs on the ladders are being eliminated. And we don't know if we're up or down. I don't know if we're going up or they're coming down. The, 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 the stairs on the ladder are going to be shrinking, 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 that up and here are going to be joined together. Let me put a verse with you because I'm very, I mean, we're not calling for Mike Bickle's house of prayer. Please, that or, doesn't exist. Or Mike Bickle, not watch, watch night. Please, this, that does not exist. It's never been this way. It's international. And that's why I am so excited to have a place on earth that pioneer this and uh, forerunner for this in a new reset it's a new level and they're calling for a hundred i don't know if a hundred will be enough i don't know if a thousand will be enough i believe in my heart this is the season when the lord will be called for such a time as this so i want to put a verse with you from job 38 12 to 15 i want to read this verse Wait, with job you. job 38 okay job 38 my English needs to be translated no, into English. No, who's ever no, read just, Job 38? I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just. Jo I'm. I'm excited of my Egyptian accent of English. 
I don't have a problem with it, but I, my kids do that with me all the time. They correct my English. I said, wonderful, I love it. <laughs> it, it gives them something to do. <laughs> otherwise, they will, otherwise, they will criticize other things, and I would don't mind English because I know English is not my... F Can we have the verse on the screen, please? <laughs> Job 38, 12 to 15. It says, have you... I, I wanted you to notice this verse. Have you ever commanded... Have you ever in your life commanded the morning? Let me say it again. Because the night watch is not an option. We are setting the day right. Have you ever in your life commanded the morning and caused the dawn to know its place? The night watch is the preparing for the morning, and the dawn is the last, the, the, the womb of the dawn is the beginning, is the three hours before the, the morning. It's three to six. So we have from two, midnight to six is the night watch. And the three to six is the womb of giving birth to the morning. So here Job is saying, have you ever in your life commanded the, the morning and caused the dawn to know its place? that it might take hold of the ends of the earth. We're commanding the morning to take hold of the ends of the earth. What will happen when this happens? Look at this. The wicked will be shaken out of it. We have wickedness because the night is empty and the womb of the dawn is not filled with commands. It's not just we are there. It's releasing God's order into the day. Look at this. It is changed like clay under the seal. You know the clay under the seal is very, it's when it's very soft that you can seal it. You can put any mark on it. And they stand forth like a garment. From the wicked, their light is withheld. We want darkness over the wicked. And the uplifted arm is broken. Any uplifted arm against the chosen ones, against the body of Christ, is broken. That is when we release our prayers in the night watch. That's why I'm saying what's happening here is a mandatory for the global family to enter in together, not only in finances, but also in manpower and woman power. We need the body of Christ, and we need to establish this here as a forerunner to all the nations. We're going to have this in all the nations, but I want to start here in Kansas City. And that's why I'm so excited about it, because we don't need to stand separate. This is the time when we need to come together. So I wanted to say this. It is not the issue of the funding. I remember one time we were picking up a large offering, and the Lord said to me, when was the time that funds were my problem? I said to him, what do you mean, Lord? Because four people came. It was a huge sum of money, huge sum of money. Four people came and said, we'll take care of the bills. And I was so happy, went to bed, and the Lord woke me up in the night, and he said, when was the time that the bill was my problem? I said to him, so what do you mean, Lord? He said, I don't care about the funds being released for the covering. I want my people to be willing in the day of my power. I'm watching my church to invest and do all what they can. And the money is not a, my problem. It's the heart of the people. And I wanted to say, this is not a call for money. This is a call for the heart. And all this uh, uh, one, one thing is about the heart. We need to make the Lord watch how we respond to him in our funding, in our time, in our response to him. And I'm not talking to the people here. I'm talking in the spirit realm to all those who are watching on the live stream. And I'm not only talking to those who are listening on the live stream. We are releasing, we have the authority here to release a call in the airwaves that people will get up in the morning and say, I don't know why I need to get on the IHOP Kansas City website and see what they're asking for. Because this is 
a precious call of the heart of the Father. This is not the IHAP call, nor Mike Bickle's call, nor anyone's call. This is the call of the Father. And we're standing here on the 20th anniversary to say this is a reset into a new season of there is nothing will lack because we're building the kingdom of God and the house of the Lord. So I want you now to rethink what you were going to give. Because I don't want anyone to drop here tonight. Anyone to be judged. I want us to be faithfully, joyfully saying, Lord, whatever you want. And if you have a struggle between two numbers, take the bigger one. And if you don't have money, I always say that. We establish the family, right? How many of you are family? Lift up your hand. So the pocket of the next one to you and the right on the left is yours. If you don't have money, just tell him, please give me this money. <laughs> we, wanted, we wanted this time to pick up an offering. And this offering is going to be a reset offering. It's not an offering to cover the need. It's an offering to establish a new season in the spirit realm. How many of you agree with me? Okay, um, I can't see your hands. The lights are in my hand. So if, you, if the next one to you is not lifting up his hand, just punch him and say, lift up your hand. I can't see you. How many of you agree with me? We are in a new season. I don't care how much. Really, it's not the point of the money. It's the point of the heart. And uh, I, don't know, I don't care how much, but I care that you have obeyed God to what he has asked you for. Because this is a season of the heart. So I'll pray and then Dean will come and tell you what to do. Do you have your offering with you? Wave it before the Lord. Lift it up before the Lord. I don't see a lot of waves. Father, we thank you for all those that are here on the live stream and even that they're not listening today now by their ears but they're going to be listening in the spirit and this is going to be an open offering not for this time only but people can go on the website and give and give and give and give and this well will never be dry father we claim as elijah said to the widow don't hold back whatever jars you can find because the oil will never run dry so father we speak over the night watch the funding and the people in ihop kansas city that it will never run dry finances and people and it will be abundance because this is your time to control the day to command the day to take hold of the ends of the earth because your kingdom is at hand and to you and to you alone we give all the glory in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. It's a lo low tone. Everyone said? Amen. I still cannot hear you. And everyone said? Amen. Whoa. Okay, again, it's $800,000 for about a year of, nearly a year, of room and board and tuition. I mean, that's a, a really amazing price, actually, for a whole year for 100 people. And our idea was to do it here in our 20th year, but maybe we'll do this two or three years in a row. I mean, I don't know. Kind of depends on what happens right here. But I, I want to do this before we receive the offering. I want anyone in the room that says in your heart, I am open to do a night watch in my city, or Ken not just Kansas City, my city or Kansas City in the next year or two or three. You're saying, I'm really stirred, I'm open to that. I'd like you to stand up. I wanna pray over you for a moment because I wanna see this happen way beyond Kansas City. All over the room, you're saying, I'm open to, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm really asking the Lord in the next year or two or three that I would give maybe a year to the night watch in my city or the Kansas City area. Just, I don't know, you know, the Lord will show you. Like, I mean, there's several thousand. Dean, several thousand people in the cities across in Asia and America and Europe, that'd be fantastic. Now, I realize you're not saying yes, but you're saying, I'm really taking this serious because it begins with a conversation. Because when you start saying, what if, Lord, then the Lord draws it out. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, you said, Abba, you would set, you would set intercessors in the night. 
You said you would set them in the night in the generation the Lord returns. Some of you don't know that. That's a Bible verse in Isaiah 62. In the generation the Lord returns, he said, I'm going to sovereignly set night intercessors who are never silent in the night. And what you saw yesterday on these two teams, of course, all the teams are the same. They do this all night long. They worship Jesus and they intercede for revival. And that's what you'll be doing here. And that's what we're praying will happen in cities all over the earth. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask you to mark their hearts. I ask you to not let the enemy steal anything from their heart. I ask you that you would make a way where there is no way. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, one more thing I'm going to ask about my guys left, so maybe you know. How, how do they know? Is it on the website if they want to apply? Do you know the answer? I, I think, uh, actually, do we have the website? We'll, we'll, we'll put a web address up. It, well, it's just IHOP. I have Casey well, but I think we have a dedicated page for that program. Okay, I think something like that. But anyway, if you're interested, you'll find out. You're smart. You'll figure out a way to find out. Yeah. No, you can see it. IHOP, you... Is it on the... Uh, dot Andy? org okay. backslash Nightwatch. Okay, there you go. You can find all the details, and you can apply even now. Yes. I think we've got some of our teachers here who are willing to meet some people for an initial interview, even in this conference. I think that's... Uh, yeah, there's a an info more... meeting that will happen. Okay, so good. we'll post that. I need, so I, to get more, I need to get better informed. Sorry. <laughs> I want to quickly just help walk you through. Many of you are, uh, I, I've seen you raise your hand. Some of you may want an envelope though. You want to fill out uh, uh, either for cash or a credit card. If you need an envelope, please raise your hand real quick. We will be sure to get an envelope to you. Raise your hand up high and keep it up high until we get an envelope to you, please. Ushers are moving around and they'll get an envelope into your hands. Many of you are wondering why we've spent this much time on it. The Lord has really burdened our team. This may be the first time you're hearing about it, and part of that is because we haven't actually talked about this, with the exception of one message Stuart Greaves gave about five years ago. We haven't talked about it for 18 years at one thing. So there's a, there's, there's a, a, a good amount of zeal and energy and attention that we're giving to it, because we really want to strengthen, you don't have a 24-7 expression unless you're covering the night. And we all love to applaud the idea of the 24-7 uh, mandate, but the night watch is the critical component of sustaining that. They're the heroes that keep the fire on the altar while everyone else is sleeping. So keep your hand up if you need an envelope. The instructions for text to give, this is really the easiest way to do it. If you know how to do it, great. If you need a little instruction, you basically just follow this. Text one thing in the subject line, like you're sending a text to somebody. Text one thing, but make the number 77977. And if you do that, you'll immediately get a link back. And when you follow that link, you can also give online and you can enter your credit card info that way. Text to give, 7977, text one thing, and you'll get a link back. Please be aware, if you do that, you will see something, it'll automatically be filled in, the 100 Fires by Night campaign. That's what we're calling this. We would love to see such an offering come in that we can do way more than 100 way more than 100 in the grace of God, but we're calling it the 100 Fires by Night campaign. So don't be confused when you see that. That is coming to IHOP, but it's designated for this, for the IHOP U Night Watch. Ushers, if you'll pass the buckets. Thank you in advance for your generosity. The last thing I wanna say, it's not only to the people in this room, but if you're watching online, there's a big give button that's real obvious right where you are. If you're watching and uh, uh, being ministered to by the Holy Spirit throughout one thing and, and the Lord is provoking you right now, if you're watching online, I ask you, it's, it's just right there. Find the give button, click it. It'll take you through to the 100 Fires by Night campaign and you can also give that way. So we want to cur encourage the online viewers to do that. As the buckets are being passed, we're just gonna worship a little bit more and then we're gonna move on with the evening. Thank you very much.
Yours is the kingdom, and yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. Amen. Yours is the kingdom, and yours is the power. Yours is the glory forever. breaks the power of sin and darkness whose love is mighty and so much stronger the king of glory the king above all kings and who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and who leaves us breathless in all in wonder the king of glory the king above all kings and this 
the sun sets free is free indeed. Free indeed. Let freedom reign. Let freedom reign. Let freedom reign tonight. Angels and saints, we sing. Oh. 